I'm Rachel Wimpy and I started painting and drawing when I was seven years old. I continued taking art classes until I got into high school and then I started to get really seriously interested in art when I was about 17. The Lion of Judah painting started at Dallas Baptist University when I was an art major and I was in a class called Visual Faith and our project assignment was to design a banner for a church. So I wanted to do something a little bit out of the ordinary and I had this I wanted to take the phrase the Lion of Judah and really focus in on that and see, you know, what does that even mean? What does that look like? It got a really good reaction, you know, from my classmates, from the professor, and I always had in the back of my mind, okay, someday I really want to paint this big. I didn't have the opportunity when I was in school because I had so many other projects going on, but um, this was about 2009. I think was about when the first, when the concept was there. One day I just remember feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to paint the painting. Like it's, it's time, I've got to work on this. The larger painting was not completed until 2013. So at the beginning of this painting process, um, a lady came to me and said, Rachel, I really want you to make sure you listen to worship music before and during the painting process. And I usually have music on especially if I'm working on a biblical piece, you know, I get a lot of inspiration from listening to worship music, but really took that message to heart and really focused on that each time I came in to paint. And so I really changed the concept and the design of the painting, which I totally wasn't anticipating. So in my original concept piece, the robe of Jesus is completely white, which is a, tra you know, more traditional way of depicting Jesus and that was what I was expecting to do on this painting and after hearing all these worship songs talking about glory and majesty and Jesus wrapping himself in light I was like okay how do I show that with a paintbrush how can I paint glory you know I only have a tube of of color I don't have a tube of you know what does glory look like the painting really represents for me the beginning of um, all of this that I've studied for, for the last, you know, say 10 years or whatever in school and with other artists, this is really the, the launch point for my career in the gallery and the ministry work that I'm wanting to combine all of those things together. Another thing that I'm really excited about is the possibility of using this painting in women's shelters and um, areas, you know, of churches and ministries where a lot of times these women have never had a beautiful place to live in their entire life. And what would it do for them if they saw this painting every day, just like it does for me when I get up in the morning and I walk out of my bedroom and I see this painting every day and I'm reminded of the truth and the power of who Jesus is. And the thought of this going around the world and being able to share that message is really what I'm excited about.